What's up guys, Backyard Scientist here, and today we're making a propane pop gun. Check it out. This is one of the easiest and most fun experiments I've done. All you need is a self-igniting propane torch and some 5 8 inner diameter tubing. Once the two get familiar with each other, you're halfway there. The torch sends a perfect mixture of propane and air through the tubes, and when you spark it you can see the flame race through. A water bottle fits perfectly on the end and acts as a little reservoir for propane gas, creating a mini explosion. Depending on the size of the bottle, this explosion can get kind of loud. Now to make this more permanent, I drilled a couple holes in the 2x4 and I pulled the line through. This kind of makes it look like a sci-fi alien blaster, like something straight out of Halo. For this, I drilled a bunch of holes around the outside, and then I filled it with a mixture of boric acid and methanol to create green flames. After I saw a Nighthawk and Lights video on this, I also tried to add some charcoal powder to it. It creates an orange flame and shoots sparks out the end. Now this looks cool, and it is certainly is cool, but it's not explodey enough for me, so I need to take this one step further. So, I told you, in the spirit of the backyard scientist, I went ahead and I modified this into a golf ball cannon. It's really loud. It's like a gun. The cannon is simply a three inch combustion chamber neck down to one and a half inches, perfect size for a golf ball. And because safety is my number one priority, I made sure that this is all pressurated. All right. Partially holding down the trigger fills the canister with the perfect amount of propane and air. When you click the trigger to spark it, a powerful explosion happens. Now when I said a powerful explosion, I meant it. This thing could shoot a golf ball farther than you can see with your eyes. That's why I only had to shoot low bouncing shots across the lake so you can see it. It's a pretty good shot also. Now, I've made a lot of potato guns before and this is by far the easiest design. I mean, you can just load it, shoot it, load it, shoot it. No airing out the container or anything. Just hold down the trigger for a couple seconds to fill it with propane and then click, boom, done. If you'd like to make one of these yourselves, I've included the plans I made for the cannon down below in the video description. I guess it's time for a new tripod. Alright guys, if this is your first time to my channel, I'd like you to look around and if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers and we can do this.